Good morning. Well, it is morning for me anyway. Um, but hi, um, I'm Stacy from his wife. Um, who am I? I'm Farmer's Wife Homestead. So my name is Stacy. if this is the first time that we're meeting. So um, today I have got a very, very special video. It's special to me because one of my beautiful viewers, um, who I've become good friends with, Tonya, has sent me this recipe. And um, she sent it to me yesterday and she said she, she would um, very much love um, for me to make it for my Thanksgiving Thursday. Now, she learnt this cake from um, a very special um, family in her life when she was um, 18, and, every, and she says, every Thanksgiving and Christmas, without fail, um, I make this cake. Um, and she said it's very special to her, and it's very, very delicious. So, um, I'm absolutely honoured and over the moon to make this cake. Now, it's called Apple Cake with Hard Sauce. That sounds incredibly interesting to me. I've never heard of it before. Of course, I've heard of an apple cake, but with hard sauce. So that's quite interesting. Now, I've got all the ingredients here. Um, she does say that she uses red delicious apples. Um, I have no apples in the house, but I have tinned dice apples. So that's the next, next best thing. And I'm sure she won't mind me using those. And I've got everything else here apart from maple flavouring. I don't know that I've ever seen maple flavoured essence here. But I do have organic um, real maple syrup. So I will use that instead. Um, so she says the way she likes to eat it is um, cold with the sauce hot or warm. So that's the way I'll make it because that's the way she likes it. So, um, yeah, come and uh, watch me make this, um, what seems to be a beautiful, delicious cake. So I'm just going to get all my ingredients ready, and um, because, you know, with baking it's, it's, you know, all quickly done if you've got everything um, ready. And it says that it needs a 9 by 13 cake pan. Now, I have spring form round ones. And I have cooking sheets. I've got every type of baking. Um, I've got every other type of baking um, uh, equipment that I need. But I don't have a tin 9 by 13 What I do have is this. And I measured it because over here we pretty much do centimetres. Um, and this is 31 centimetres by... 21 so it needed to be 33 by 23 so um, unfortunately it's not tin but I will give it a go in this um, so yeah I'm just going to get all the ingredients measured and ready so I just need to butter and flour the dish I'm just using the Butter paper, I always put these papers in the freezer and then I've got them for that. And we need flour. That's already. I'm just going to get my Kenwood out. Okay, so it says to combine flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So we need um, two cups of flour. Two cups of flour, um, baking soda, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, and I'm just going to make sure that it's got no um, lumps. Teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon, and I'm just going to stir to combine this ingredients. 
Well, who doesn't love apples and cinnamon? I already know that I'm going to love this cake and I love maple. Right, I'm going to set that aside and bring over my beastie. And we'll get the wet ingredients. So for the um, sugar, I've I've run out of white, and I've got some raw sugar there, so I've got white and raw. See, so look, I'm <laughs> down to the very bottom. I will do my monthly shop sometime this week, maybe next week. Um, but I may have to get some in the little town that I live nearby um, to hold me out, and I'll go and do my bulk shop. And I was wondering. Are you interested in um, a shop with me? Like, I'll take you around to the bulk shop where I get most of my ingredients. Um, if you are interested in a video like that, where we go into it and I film it in the video in public, ooh, I don't know how I'm going to go with that, um, let me know if you're interested and I will make that video. Right, back to the recipe. Okay, so now we... Um, in a separate large bowl, beat eggs. So we've got two eggs. My beautiful free range eggs. Add two cups of sugar. Half a cup of vegetable oil. And two teaspoons of vanilla. And mix well. Okay, so the rest of this I'm going to do by hand because she says it's easier. Now Tonya says that you add the apples, the nuts and mix well again. Combine the mixture into the apple mixture, mixing well but not over mixing to prevent the cake from being tough. This mixture will look very thick and I find it simpler to just mix with my hands. You may look at this and think you're never going to have a proper cake texture but I assure you it will fit. Okay so um, it's a cup of nuts of your choice. She prefers walnuts, so that's what I've got. Some chopped walnuts. And two cups of diced apple, quarter inch. I'll mix this well. And then combine the flour mixture. Crash bang without over mixing. Oh, wow, smells delish. Yep, mixing just to combine. And then pot it into your pan. Which looks like it'll be the perfect size pan for the spatula. You know me, I like to get every last morsel. I'll come back to um, making the sauce later because we want it hot. Um, I'm so going to enjoy this and I know my husband is going to love this. Okay, into a 180 oven uh, for how long? 
it's in me here, let me have a look. Um, spread pan, bake for approximately one hour, checking it at about 35 minutes until done. Okay. Well, that was a very simple recipe, lovely recipe and um, ingredients that I have on hand. And um, I am going to have a tidy up and then I have to go to work for a little bit. And then I will be back and we will make the hard sauce. Alrighty. Huh. I'm, what's the word? Flustered? Not flustered. I'm going cray cray. <laughs> so, the minute I put the cake in the oven, I looked at the time. I was supposed to be at a meeting for my new job at one o'clock. It was five past one. Time just got away from me. I'm like, oh my gosh, between caring for these chickens that I'm trying to hatch that some um, a friend gave me and the mum going, oh, <laughs> mum coming off them the day before they're due and then another hen's killing them and oh, it's just, they're starting to hatch and all sorts of crazy things and then I, I lost track of time but anyway, anyway, I had to take the cake out of the oven and zoom into town to get to my meeting. I hope the cake still works. Okay, it looks like it's ready. It's quite dark because I think I had the oven turned up too much. I'm really sorry, Tonya, if I've really mucked up this cake. Got a skewer. It feels, it feels right. Right, I'm going to show you. It's probably going to look really dark on camera, but I promise you it's not. does see it looks burnt it, it's not I promise it's not anyway Tanya you'll be able to tell me if it's supposed to be like a white color or whether it goes sort of a browner color because of the cinnamon so do let me know please regardless it smells divine and I bet you it's going to taste divine I'm going to let this cool down now and we will make up the sauce um, Husband's off doing um, his farrier work today. He um, also shoes horses, so he's off doing that today. And um, he won't be home till quite a bit later. And then by then I'll have no light. So I'll make up the sauce now. And I might try a piece of the cake now while it's hot. Exciting. Right, I'm gonna put this away to cool down a little. I, I even left my dishes. All right, we'll get to making this sauce. Hello, hello, I'm back. I have been down to do my chickens and feed my pigs and multitude of other things, done some paperwork, and I decided I, I wasn't happy with the first cake because I had to leave it sitting on the bench, made up, the baking soda had been in it, and it sat there for probably two and a half to three hours. And I just decided that's not doing Tonya's recipe a justice. The cake itself is delicious. Like I've had a slice of, well not a slice of it, but I forked a little bit. Um, and it's delicious, it's tasty and um, yeah, beautiful. But I, I want to do it justice and I want to bake it as I was, as I had intended to, which was to put it straight in the oven. And like last time I put it in the oven, looked at the time and went, oh my gosh, great way to start a new job. Anyway, everything's calm, relaxed. <laughs> I may look like I'm not, but I am. So we are going to finally make this um, sauce and it's called hard sauce. And that's quite interesting because it doesn't sound like it's going to um, set hard. So I wonder why it's called hard sauce. So maybe Tonya, you can put that in the comment. Maybe it does go hard, I'm not sure. Um, so I'll just give you a little read. So um, we're going to melt the butter and brown sugar over low heat. Combine, combine flour and salt and mix with butter mixture, avoiding any lumps. So it's kind of like... Um, like you're making a roux in some ways. Um, add the water. 
Oh yeah. Add the water and cook over medium high heat until thickened. You are essentially making maple gravy. Mm, maple gravy. Who wouldn't like maple gravy? Remove from the stove and add maple flavoring. Spoon over individual slices of cake. I prefer to have the cake cold. I like cold cake, so I put it in the fridge for a few hours and serve, and serve warm over individual slices. That sounds delicious. But she also went on to say um, that she hopes that um, we enjoy this recipe uh, for Thanksgiving Thursday. And she said that, um, where was it? Um, she said, oh, hang on a second. Pause for one moment. Okay, it may have been in a different email. I may have seen it. But I'm pretty sure she said, I know I won't say who it is in case I'm wrong, but um, she said that somebody um, pulled this maple hard sauce over their potatoes thinking that it was gravy. <laughs> Gosh, can you imagine it? Can you imagine tucking into your mashed potatoes and going, huh? That's a bit weird. <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, so I'm really interested to see um, what this sauce is going to taste like. Um, but the, the cake itself is mm, so delicious. As you can imagine, maple syrup, um, brown, um, brown sugar, so you've got that caramel flavour coming through, the apples, the, the you know, the soft soft sweetness of the apples which gives the cake moisture and the slight crunch of the cooked walnuts. Ugh, I'm I'm here for it. Alright, okay, stop yabbing and onto the sauce. The element is now heated. So we need a quarter of a cup of butter. Hmm. You right there, I might put you over here actually. Put you over here. If I put you there, how does that work? New angle. We'll see how that goes. So we want quarter of a uh, quarter of a cup of short, uh, butter. What are what are some of the um, traditional foods that you guys have for your Thanksgiving or Christmases? Um, I know we've got some and I'm excited to share um, some of them with you shortly. Put the butter in there. And, oh, it says over medium. Stacy, that's not medium. I don't, know, I don't know what's up with my brain lately. I realised I was looking for the um, other can of apples to make the second cake. I was looking everywhere in the fridge for it. Guess where I found it? In a container in the cupboard. Not good. Right, I managed to grab some more white sugar. So we need three quarters of a cup. Yes, that's on low. Two. Quarters. So I'm just going to add some molasses because molasses and white sugar equals brown sugar and you want dark sugar so I'm going to add a bit of molasses. Might have been a little bit too much, it might turn out to be black sauce. No, that looks about right. Says she who's never made the cake before. Okay, what else are we doing? Um, melt butter and brown sugar over low heat. Combine flour and salt and mix with butter mixture, avoiding any lumps. Just going to cook that a little bit. So we need her. Two heaping tablespoons of flour and a pinch of salt. And I want to get one and a half cups of water ready. 
I have my whisk ready because that will always get lumps out of anything. One and a half cups of um, water and we want two heaping tablespoons of flour. One. I mean, how much is a heap, heaping tablespoon? That you reckon? I'll go with that. Oh, mind you, if I use a proper... Hmm, that might be too much. I always self-doubt myself. Because is it that tablespoon or is it <laughs> that tablespoon? Proper baking, it's this, so I'm going to try and do it right. We'll call that heaping. One. Poor Tanya's probably going, ah, oh, no. Two. I don't butcher my cake. <laughs> I just, I just. And she knows that. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Doesn't even have the maple in it yet. Now, this is made with maple flavouring. We do not have it here. It may be in a speciality shop. I, I've never seen it. I might put the maple syrup in now. You put the, flav um, the maple flavouring in at the end. But I don't want to cook out the flavour either. So, no, I'll do it at the end. Okay, so we are going to turn this up, I assume. Add water and cook over medium high. Yeah. I'm going to add the water. Don't forget the pinch of salt. going to get into the corners and make sure I get all that flour, butter and sugar. Right now it's hiding all in the corner. I haven't turned up the heat yet. I'm going to use this wooden spoon to get up and get these corners nice and clean. Make sure we get everything. Now I'm going to turn the heat up. Yum. I actually did a Thanksgiving once for my kiddos many, many years ago, probably going back over 20 years ago. And I got them to write on um, placemats. I made up placemats. They drew on placemats and they wrote things about what they loved about each other and stuff. And I don't have them anymore and I wish I did. Because those are certainly amazing memories. So I'm just going to stand here and, and whisk until it starts to thicken. It's starting to thicken up nicely now. It does look like a gravy. It looks like a caramel gravy. <laughs> so it says a teaspoon of maple flavouring. I'm going to pick that a teaspoon flat. An essence or a flavouring is going to be, you know, have a lot more flavour than what pure, got it at the Costco, um, what pure maple syrup will have. So I'm going to put in a tablespoon. Sea sauce. 
look better. See if that's enough. So this trick, you get you can't see. You get a spoon and then put it on another spoon and then I'll save my my spoons. Mm mm mm. Yum. I'm gonna taste the maple, but it needs a little bit more. about two tablespoons um, Tonya that's so <laughs> yum mm -mm -mm. shall I okay mm. so good yum Good enough for on top of mashed potato too. <laughs> I'm just gonna cheat the cake, the second cake. Okay, this one looks much better. Obviously sitting all that time did. This is definitely more sponge, spongy. It's not as dark either. Yum, super hot. Of course, because it's just coming out of the oven. All right, so I'm gonna get it bored. So that was, that's the second one and the colour of the first one which is still delicious it's still very very moist and I know my husband's still gonna eat that um, yum perfecto and hmm. I'll reheat this. Um, when husband gets home. Now for the all-important taste test. Mm. Wow, that is divine. It's like got a crispy outer. I love the crunch of the, the walnuts. The maple sauce is divine. And I bet you the proper maple flavoring would be even better. This is unlike anything I've ever tasted and it is delicious. I'm sorry the lighting is pitch black out there but um, anyway I really hope that you try this, this stunningly beautiful cake and I will leave the recipe down in the description below um, as Tonya has allowed me to share it with everybody because that's the kind of person she is. She likes to share her recipes. So once again, thank you so much for joining me today. And I really hope that you enjoyed the cake. Thank you very much, Tonya, for sending it in to me. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. See ya. Bye.